hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Asia, guys. It's a great time to be alive, guys. I know a lot of you are looking, <laughs> looking at your portfolios and you're probably wondering what the HE double hockey sticks is going on with the markets right now. You can see that you know right now the total markets are down right now, almost down around about nine percent in the house, guys. So that is not looking that is not looking good. It's not looking peachy keen, and you know we're seeing that uh, the total market cap is around about two point one trillion and it's down, like I said, about nine point one percent. Remember, this video is not financial advice. This is just an OG in the house expressing his opinion, and this video is not financial advice, guys. So remember, do do your own. Uh, do your own uh, risk management guys out there and I know it's a pretty much of a bloodbath out there today and things are looking uh, pretty bad and people are wondering what the hell what the heck is going on with uh, with cryptocurrency uh, and everything is down right now and everything is going crazy and you know some of it has to do with the, the broader markets yesterday tanked and a lot of that uh, a lot of the reason why the broader markets were tanking yesterday was because of the Fed chairman uh, they released the December notes when they had that uh, you know Federal Reserve meeting and they did indicate that they're going to be, you know, uh, tapering off uh, the, uh, you know, the different relief packages and everything where they're buying back uh, the 10-year bonds and stuff like that. And they did confirm, they did confirm in the House that they would be also increasing the uh, rates as well. So there's going to be a rate hike going on as well. So that is one of the reasons why we're seeing all of this uh, Debbie Downer kind of stuff right now. So that is not looking good in the House, guys. I know a lot of you are kind of concerned about that and wondering what is going on out there right now. So yeah, I mean, I, I've been concerned. My portfolio is also down as well right now. So that is also not good in the house, guys. And we're seeing that uh, BC, BTC is trending right, trending down right now. And it's around about uh, ranging between 42,900 and $43,000 in the house. So that is down, D -D -D, down, down. Also, one of the things that we also saw today was that we're seeing that uh, almost 812, 813 million uh, leverage positions got wrecked guys and uh, approximately 637 of those were long positions guys I mean that number may change a little bit uh, uh, you know because you know by the time I record this video and get it out to you guys it's gonna be different guys so don't forget to go down there smash the like subscribe and don't forget to comment if you're loving this content like I'm loving you guys so we're seeing that once again the leverage longs out there and also the leverage traders have put the kibosh on everything and you know we also saw some you know FUD out there as well you know, we saw the whole Pakistan uh, government has resigned over the uh, the fuel prices. They, they, there was a cap on there, and they removed that cap, and then the fuel prices just went down like crazy, guys. So that was one of the reasons, and uh, because that happened, they uh, pulled the internet in Pakistan, and, you know, we saw that there was about a 14% drop in the, in the mining hash rate. So that happened simultaneously when we had the Fed coming out with the rake hikes and the tapering off of the stimulus packages and then we also have this uh, French variant uh, as well going the news that is breaking as well that so that's that's uh, adding to a lot of jitters in the market right now so that is what is causing all of this Debbie Downer stuff guys so you know uh, so basically BTCD is down because of the Fed news that's what's happening and we may even see that the BTC could even drop and go as low as forty two thousand dollars in the house guys so if that happens guys that is uh, I mean I'm not worried I'm not gonna be liking it but I'm definitely not worried and uh, from 2020 to now we're seeing almost almost a 60 percent difference uh, from where we were back in 2020 to where we are now in terms of of uh, BTC dropping guys so that is not very good take a look at the take a look at the chart above guys so BTC needs to get above uh, forty six thousand dollars to bounce back and confirm that we're going to be breaking out and going to the upside guys so we really need to see BTC making some huge moves to the upside guys and if BTC doesn't make a move above forty six thousand dollars it's going to be pretty nasty in the house guys and things are not not going to be looking good in the house right now so that is really important that we do see BTC get above $46,000. So I'm hoping we're going to get back up there. I mean, I know that you're hoping we're going to get back up there. So it's just been a horrendous day for crypto. And uh, so, you know, what should, what should you guys be doing? Should you be panicking? I wouldn't be panicking, guys. I mean, if you've got some cash on the sidelines, remember, this is not financial advice. Go down and smash the likes and comment. What you may want to consider is to dollar cost average and buy more Bitcoin. So I'm going to be picking up more Bitcoin right now. So absolutely, that's what I'm going to be doing. Some positive news out there is we're seeing that El Salvador is dr drafts 20 bills uh, for the legal legal structure of Bitcoin bonds funds to be used uh, to build this whole Bitcoin city. So we're seeing right now that uh, Bitcoin and El Salvador 
are the huge news in the house and that El Salvador wants to build this whole Bitcoin city and they're going to sell bonds uh, to actually raise capital to actually do that. They're also going to be launching that volcano mining so that is pretty positive as well in the house guys. So you know will we see BTC break down to 42 to 41,000? Uh, before forming a fifth wave so there's some there's some evidence out there some uh, traders are saying that you know Bitcoin right now is forming a fifth wave and before we see that fifth wave we may have we may have to see Bitcoin break down uh, below 42 and uh, 41 thousand dollars and it's going to be forming a kind of a, a wedge shaped pattern and when it does that we're definitely going to start to see uh, Bitcoin could break out of that form the fifth wave and then we could see a hundred thousand dollars coming in so you know this could be a little bit of a fake out remember there remember crypto is not regulated and the centralized exchanges where we have all these leverage traders trading uh, we could be seeing some manipulation in the house going on right now and that is to eliminate you know we're talking over you know 800 million dollars worth of leverage traders got wrecked guys that is absolutely a ton of money in the house guys so we could maybe saying a little bit of a manipulation because we're seeing that uh, you know crypto is not regulated so that is what we're seeing right now so I wouldn't really panic too much in the house I would be dollar cost averaging I'm still holding I mean worst case scenario uh, for me and for you is that uh, we may have to wait until 2025 to make some real profit but I don't think it's going to be going down that bad and I did tell you all that we would be seeing uh, some volatility and I would keep an eye on things because between January 8th, 9th and 18th we could see Bitcoin breaking out and we could be seeing that Bitcoin will complete this fourth wave, break out the upside and complete this fifth wave guys. So let's jump into the charts right now without any further delay. So we're seeing that right now that Bitcoin on the weekly chart, you can see it up there, is below the 21 day EMA and that it's set around about $50,000. So, you know, for Bitcoin to get above that 21 day EMA, we need to see Bitcoin above $50,000. Uh, for the whole week, we're down around about 9% right now. And we've been ranging today between uh, 42,800 and 42,900 right now. So that's where we're ranging. So hopefully by the time you watch this, it hasn't gone down even more. So hopefully it's gone up in the opposite direction, guys. So this is pre-recorded just in case you guys are warning. So go down there, smash the likes and, uh, you know, Subscribe you in the house, guys. So BTC daily has also broken down 9%, and that's also ranging between 42, uh, 800, and 42, uh, 900 in the house. So hopefully we can get a, a back above that. So we, you know, we have major support uh, on the BTC daily chart around about 42,000. So there is uh, some major support happening around about 42,000 dollars. So that is good news in the house. So hopefully BTC will not break down below 42,000. Uh, because if it does it's gonna it's you know it's not gonna be good and you can see that all the uh, all the old coins have gone down we're seeing that ethereum has gone down so if you look at the ethereum chart right now we can see that ethereum has broken down below the th uh, the three thousand five hundred dollar level uh, but we still have support around about the th uh, thirty three hundred dollar level you can see the chart right there guys and if that fails to hold then we could see a thirty one hundred dollar support coming in right now we can see that uh, we can see that phantom has also broken down uh, from its two point uh, two dollar two dollar and eight cents support, and is now trading around about uh, two dollars and seventy cents in the house. Solana has also broken down as well, and uh, that's at one hundred and forty eight dollars, and has also broken down. I did tell people uh, in my previous videos to set some uh, buy orders on the way down. So hopefully some of you got those filled. All of my buy orders got filled. So hopefully when we see Solana coming back with a reversal. We should absolutely uh, be in profit, guys. So remember, that's not financial advice, just the OG in the house, guys. So this is a good time to be buying the dips, guys. So also, if you look at Doge right now, Doge is trading around about 15 cents. So Doge is not looking good. And this is not because of the fundamentals of Doge. This is because all the markets are down around about 9, 9.1% 9 right now. So that is why we're seeing the Doji Woji going down, guys. We're absolutely seeing Doji Woji going down. And, uh, you know, we do have some support uh, at 14 cents. So most likely, uh, if we don't get a reversal and the market start going uh, green, we could see that uh, Doge could actually go down to 14 cents and there should be some, uh, there's some, some support down at 14 cents. So right now, Shiba Inu is as well as fallen, is, is fallen as well. And that's around about 29 in the house, guys. So overall, things are looking pretty pretty nasty pretty gnarly in the house guys so hopefully you guys are uh, you know you're probably panicking in the house probably been biting your nails and it's been a really rough time so when this happens what you guys need to do is remove your emotion 
out uh, from uh, from trading uh, and uh, don't be trading be investing guys and you know you just need to have diamond hands and have the conviction that we're going to see uh, old coins and the Bitcoin bounce back guys and we're going to start to see that the Bitcoin dominance is also dropping as well and with that being dropping we should start to see that the old coins should start to make a move but they're not going to make a move until we've seen we see a little bit of a reversal uh, for Bitcoin and hopefully that uh, you know we will have some major support for Bitcoin around about $42,000. I believe that's going to act as huge support. And, uh, you know, once we have this whole descending uh, wedge uh, happen on wave four, we could enter the wave five pattern. And hopefully that will take uh, Bitcoin to the breakout. So I kind of, I kind of, you know, I kind of in my gut kind of felt that we we're going to have one big major dump uh, before we have another upside, guys. And I really believe that you know some of this uh, some of this dumpage, uh, of course, it has to do with the Fed news that we all know about. Uh, the Pakistan outage for uh, Bitcoin uh, mining has been out because the internet was pulled. Uh, but you know most of it most of it is really related to the leverage longs that have been, just been wrecked. And you know once again the the law the, the you know the the leverage traders they're just. You're just reckoning it for all of us out there. So I think this is a bit of manipulation. As you know, uh, centralized exchanges are uh, not regulated. So, you know, they can do this. The market ma makers can absolutely, you know, m uh, mess with the price and mess with us. And I'm sure some whales have been uh, been dumping some of the coins to bring the price down so they're buying up. So, But, you know, you guys also know that, you know, 75% of the Bitcoin supply is Ill illiquid right now. And that's not moving. So, you know, the balance of it around 25% is what is what is causing this whole, uh, you know, this whole Debbie Downer event. So, guys, uh, I wouldn't be doing anything like that. Do not be panic selling in the house. Remember, this is not financial advice. You got to do what's right for you and uh, do what fe is feeling good for you. And don't just listen to what I have to say. So do what's right for you. What I am doing is I'm not doing anything. I am holding, holding, holding strong. And I may even consider buying the dip, guys. So what you want to do is just... Hold on, guys. Don't panic. And we're going to get through this together, guys. And absolutely worst, worst case scenario, you're going to have to wait to 2025. I mean, that that may seem like a, you know, a lifetime from here, but that is going to be absolutely the worst case scenario, guys. So I just want to say God bless each and every one of you in the house. I love you guys to death. And I'll see you guys soon. So, guys, don't forget to go and uh, follow me on Twitter. Follow, follow, follow. Don't forget to go down there. Smash the like. Subscribe. Be YB in the house, guys. And uh, don't forget to check out uh, the merch. Merch up. Gear up with the OG gear. And don't forget to check out the Weefy Wifey's channel, guys. Go up there and subscribe. Show some love in the house, guys. So, this is the OG, the Rick Flair of Crypto, saying, woo, and don't panic, guys. I'll see you next one. God bless you. Take care. Be well. Be safe. I love it. You love it. Let's get it, guys.